So I learned how to use a drawing board. Let's see. When I was, son is just now turning 24. So around when he was one years old, I bought a Wacom and amazingly enough, it was twice the size of what's available now. I mean, it was it was pretty good size. I'd say probably about 14 by 14 or something like that. Or 6 to 14 by 16 or something like that. It, was, it sat in your lap and it was comfortable. So, you know, I haven't... It went out and I just didn't have... Raising kids didn't have the extra money to pick one up. And then I got to looking at the pricing of it and, you know, cheap one finally you know you pick up around sixty five seventy five dollars but you know it was a big deal to buy the first one and learning to draw on it was a pain <laughs> and it I compared prices I wanted to get a tablet you know and looking at them and going oh let's that's just like buying a whole nother new computer and I got a gaming computer just so it would keep up with the art and I'm just like <laughs> frustrated over here. So anyway, this is me using this, you know, here on $75 um, drawing board and I'm like really freaking out kind of because, you know, it took a while to learn how to do that and I did like preschool line drawings for a coloring book worksheet and you know it took a while to practice that and I haven't used one in over 20 years and I'm like oh my god <laughs> this is like really too much you know so just a quick snippet on this is what I'm doing and I'm like I think I'm gonna even have to go back to putting something behind it and tracing for a while so I get my hand eye coordination used to it so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm working on like four different paintings and trying to do this. And this is kind of where I thought, well, I'll just do a comic because you don't really need like major drawing skills on this until I get used to the line. Um, I mean, look at that. It's awful. <laughs> just squiggling around there for Aquarius. I just got done reading my horoscope and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now, you know. Um, just getting used to the line when I first got it out. This is the second time I've used it. And just getting it out, I'm like, man, my lines are too small. And what size picture do I do this on? And, well, I'm just going to post the first one to Facebook so I can kind of keep track of when I start it again. So here we are, me, you know, and... I draw this um, little comic-y um, tune. I've been kind of doing them since high school. So, you know, I'm probably going to draw that, I guess, you know, and see just how how bad my, my hand-eye coordination are on this. I, you know, maybe this is why I'm like, oh, I'll just stick with traditional. Because, you know, I've been doing tech since he was little on websites and messing with this and you know wanting to get good at something and I'm like you know I was sitting and thinking about applying to learn 3D and uh, 2D, 3D graphics and arts and you know I picked up Blender and tried to make a donut and I'm doing that all with the mouse and it should be easier with a drawing board and then I'm sitting here with the realization you got to learn how to use drawing board all over again <laughs> you know and so you know I was thinking about going back to college for that or I mean today you can study that stuff online and where am I going to get the money for it? And because I, this whole idea of me just being washed up for the rest of my life just isn't sitting well with me, you know, that, you know, while I'm sitting here recovering from what's going on, that I could be learning a new skill that could put me in the career that I actually rather be in. And then um, kind of also 
thinking about art and what I went through at the photography studio, I mean, the first year of it, I was really excited. You know, I'm finally doing something in a creative field and it just hit a real nerve with me that I could actually socialize doing it. You know, um, got to see a lot of people, which I enjoy, and be a part of the community and make them feel good about themselves. And then, you know, a year later during the season, I, I think everybody has meltdown during Christmas season as a photographer in a busy studio that I kind of got to, oh my God, I want to quit this. This is insane because, you know, you get doing 24 sits by yourself with just a part-timer is a lot. And even in Chicago, I, I they had, you know, five different people working on, on these big crowds at least, you know. Usually two just to answer the desk and and host alone, you know. So, you know, I was in a studio where it was just me and, you know, my part-timer and we're just fighting these lines and everything else. And I, I did so much of it that I was starting to get burnt out already. And, and so I sat and thought about that. Well, do you want to, because there's this, this there's this dream that everybody has that they want to eventually get good enough to go work at Disney or go work now, go work with these gaming companies and stuff. It's part of the reason why I learned uh, tech and took C plus classes and everything else. And me sitting here with a realization, dude, you can't even draw your dude the way you normally do. So you, this is going to take some practice, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at. Do I want to, you know, just kind of plop along with what I'm doing? Because most of the stuff that I did in the fractal realm was with a, a computer and with a mouse. And I, because my drawing board burnt out. I mean, it was old and I didn't use it. And, you know, so. I'm sitting here going, dude, you just to be on the level that you were at with a drawing board, it's going to take some getting used to. And you, you're talking about wanting to do these like really detailed 3D big things and you can't even, I mean, I'm struggling with drawing board, you can tell, you know, so do I want to go back to maybe I'll, and most people don't recommend that you trace, <laughs> you know, unless you, you drew it yourself or something. But I'm kind of going, I may have to pop up some pictures there and trace for a while until I get used to, to the drawing board again. And, um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm watching this going, oh my Lord, <laughs> this is awful. You know, um, it's not awful. It's, it's, what you go through learning something new, any anyway, it's like um, the whole beginner process, and you know I'm I because you still use your keyboard, and I'm still wanting to use my reach over and use my mouse instead of my pen, and you know do I drop the pen and do I, I the, it's got um keys that you can set up on it, and you know I'll have to do all that, but it'll take time. And that's kind of what I I was journaling the other day. Why do you feel this insane pressure on you? You're you're supposed to be taking care of yourself and um, getting better, and you're putting this like increased pressure on yourself. And I kind of sat and thought, I'm like that pressure has been on me since I left high school. That you know, and I remember I kind of journaled about being mad at my ex-husband because he didn't understand how important it was to me and do get a job and help support this. And, you know, if you love me, you'd understand that being an artist is part of who I am. So, you know, here I am struggling with it and I'm struggling with it on my own now and I'm sick going, man, there's still so much um, more I want to create. <laughs> 
And, you know, I'm don't get me wrong, I'm on my way to recovery, but there's, you know, still an avenue that, you know, I dream about wanting to go down. And is is it because I'm I'm fifty two now, is it a viable um investment, you know, to sink that money into school again and it probably require moving and all this other stuff and now that I'm old older and don't give it to me this is supposed to be the years I looked forward to, which I really did. My kids would be grown and I would have time to draw and do what I wanted to do and paint and <laughs> So I'm doing that, but I'm putting like this a crazy amount of pressure on myself and I can't because I'm ill or I'm going to make myself ill again. Um, so yeah, you know, just kind of the thought process of is this really worth the effort? Do I even want to learn how to use my drawing board? <laughs> is kind of, no, it's just a big letdown because you, you know, I been drawing on um, paper and doing watercolor again and kind of a little bit of acrylic and you know working with my lighting and on paper I, I'm getting somewhere and then going back to you know then you pick something else up and go oh my god I, I'm so I look like a preschooler right now <laughs> at least to me in my own art skills and I know where they're at that I got to get my digital up to where my um, traditional art standards are, you know, and I see some, and I've been watching other artists do it and going, that's awful, simple, simplistic, and it's not very detailed, and it's not as good as the, the traditional can be, and then see some of these people just blow you out of the water, how realistic it is and you're just you know so I'm kind of <laughs> assessing my own skill level digitally I mean I'm really strong in website design and all this other stuff I'm just kind of you know and this is kind of what everybody goes through as a digital artist you got to start somewhere you know I just kind of have this stop and restart thing <laughs> going on that I hate you know that I didn't didn't invest in another digital board, and that I um, let that skill lapse because it it took took a couple months before I got really good at it again, or before I got comfortable with it. And here I am. I, I, there is something going on with me where I just feel like hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and I don't know where it's coming from because nobody's pressuring me over here to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you know, so, um, yeah, these are the kind of things that are on, on uh, my mind right now, and this is just a quick snip to um, update everybody on my process, process and what I'm, go what I'm doing, and if, you know, here you're going to be watching me on one uh, skill set, go back to absolutely beginner level um, <laughs> and work through that. So if you're just learning to, to draw with the, your a digital board or um, digitally, you know, I, I feel like they're like grade school kids and probably do a better job with me because I, it feels like the whole you know, when you go to sign for your credit card or something and you can't quite fit your whole name on it and it's not how you normally sign your name anyway because it's, you know, so small. <laughs> and that may be part of it because the drawing board that I did work with was at least probably twice the size. So, you know, the drawing board works fine. It's me getting used to drawing in that little bitty uh, square and, you know, used to moving around with the pen. And because I'm, you can tell I'm just like struggling to get my pen over there. Because, you know, I'm even working with a bigger, bigger screen than I, you know, I worked on a little CRT monitor when I had my first drawing board. And now I'm working with this, uh, 
I don't know what size is this. Probably it's close to 40 inch, maybe 38 or something screen. So I got this big old screen and this little bitty board and <laughs> and you know what size you want to do and what do you want to draw anyway? You know I feel like. So maybe I'll get up every morning and kind of doodle a little bit, just stupid little, you know, unimportant. Well, it may pile up and make a good comic about me making fun of myself here. But that's pretty much the, the update. Um, I am working on another video that um, when I get done with the drawing glass that I'll, um, drawing glass, <laughs> boy, I'm space, wine glass, splash, that, um, I'm going to put, you know, ways to make money as an artist, and I'm waiting for that to finish because it's kind of a long talk, unless I break all those down, and, you know, I break them down later, but not yet. I think I need to introduce it all as, um, how to make money as an artist all in one swoop and then break them down into individual and talk more about it then. So that's what's going on with me today and you know love to hear some encouragement that it's not going to be as bad as it was the first time around learning this and your thoughts on do you think art schools are art schools worth it at this age? Um, throw me your two cents. And that's pretty much it for today. See you on the flip side.